So I um, boarded my flight. It was a really early flight. And when I got to the row that I thought I was to be seated in, there was a woman sitting in my seat. And so I don't know, I travel a lot. So I thought, and I was tired. So I thought, oh, maybe I looked wrong. So I pulled up my Delta app and double checked and realized, oh no, that really was my seat. And so then again, just assuming the positive, I thought, oh, well, she must have just looked at her ticket wrong. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, but I, th I think you're sitting in my seat. And she said, I was so surprised by what she said because she said, oh, you want to sit here? And she said, oh, well, I just thought I could switch with you because these are my kids. And she pointed to the two seats next to her and there looked to be a boy who was roughly 15-ish and then a girl who looked maybe more like 11-ish. And I immediately said, oh, I, you know, I'm happy to switch with you as long as it's a window seat. Um, and I always pick a window seat because the, mo the most important reason is because I get motion sickness during takeoff and landing if I can't look out the window. And sometimes people don't leave the window shade open and or I'm too far from the window, I can't see. So that's the biggest reason. And then the second reason is uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. <laughs> so I usually like to be able to sleep on the plane. And um, being in the window seat obviously gives you that easiest opportunity to do that. So anyway, my reaction first was, sure, I'm happy to switch with you as long as it's a window seat. And she said, oh, it's right here. And and I, she said it like, oh yeah, great, it's right here. And so I thought, oh, it must be the window seat. But then she pointed to the middle seat that was in the row right behind the seat where I was supposed to be sitting. Not even exaggerating, I had 90 minutes of sleep the night before. I had this big presentation I needed to give once I arrived at my destination. and. I was just like, you have, to, I told myself like, you have to take care of yourself. Like you need sleep on this flight. You picked the seat in advance, stick with the seat. And I said, oh, I said the middle seat right there. And she said, yeah, it's just right here. <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry. I said, I really need a window. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't want to switch. And she was not happy. <laughs> she was kind of, you know, it wasn't like a fight, but she definitely begrudgingly, you know, kind of like grabbed her stuff and stood up and kind of huffed and puffed and, um, you know, went back to the seat behind. And I thought then it was done um, because she was still, I mean, she was within arm's reach of both of her kids. The woman behind um, who um, the the seat switcher was talking to, um, you know, was so kind and she she continued to be kind, but she was absolutely defending me. I don't know who she was. She was a stranger to both of us. But um, the woman first said, you know, I can't believe the airlines don't put us together, you know, with our kids. And the woman said something to the effect of, um, yeah, you know, I know it's nice to sit with your kids, but when that happens to me, I always just try to talk to the gate agent before I get on the plane or I try to pay to have seats together ahead of time. A complete and total non-issue. She, um, the mom, kind of reached up to the the younger of the two, which was the girl, who I think my guess is maybe about 11 years old or so, reached up to her more than once, saying, "You know, are you okay? You know," um, and she just kept saying, "Yeah, I'm fine. You know, I'm fine." And then at one point, the the older one, the son. Um, the woman again said, oh, so-and-so, are you, you know, are you doing okay? And the son said, mom, we're fine. <laughs> so they, the kids were fine. They didn't say a word the whole flight and there was nothing unusual about the flight. And it was all just a non-event after. <laughs>